Hi kids! So today we are gonna read Freddy and the Fairy. This book has been written by Julia Donaldson. Uh, she is uh, my niece Mishika's favorite favorite author when it comes to children's books. So do check her out. And it's been illustrated by Karen George. So let's get started. Freddy found a fairy tangled in a tree. Help! I'm stuck! The fairy cried. So Freddy set her free. Oh, that's very kind of Freddy. Thank you, said the fairy. My name is Bessie Bell. I'll grant you all your wishes, though I can't hear very well. Freddy thought, then mumbled. I wish I had a pet. What's mumbling, kids? It's speaking something unclearly, very quickly without opening your lips properly and just saying it. So Freddy said, I wish I had a pet. Why, so you shall, said Bessie Bell and conjured up. What's conjuring, kids? Conjuring is making something appear just like magic. So she conjured up a net. I don't want fish, said Freddy. I'd rather have a dog. Hey, presto, said the fairy and conjured up a frog. Let's try again, said Freddy. I wish I had a cat. That's easy, said the fairy and conjured up a bat. Not the one you play cricket with. The animal bat. I don't like bats, said Freddy. Uh, but what about a mouse? Lift up that stone, said the fairy. And Freddy found a louse. Oh no. What's a louse, kids? Uh, it's a small, tiny insect that can get into our hair and then feed on our blood. So be very careful not to get lice from anyone. Many laos are called lice. That isn't right, said Freddy. Let's think. Perhaps a parrot wants to be a pirate. <laughs> I'll do my best, said Bessie Bell. And conjured up a carrot. Freddy stamped his foot and said, This carrot has no beak. Forgive me, said the fairy. And a tear rolled down her cheek. Why is Bessie Bell crying? She's sad because... Wherever Freddy is asking, she's not able to conjure up that. Just then, from out of nowhere, appeared the fairy queen. She dried the fairy's eyes and asked, Whatever does this mean? It's Bessie Bell, said Freddy. She gets things wrong, he grumbled. I'm sorry, said the fairy, but that's because you mumbled. Now, now, Freddy, said the fairy queen. She sounded kind but stern. Before you wish again, there are three rules for you to learn. How many? Three rules. Rule one. 
You mustn't mumble. Rule two: Don't turn away. The fairy needs to see your lips to read the words you say. Rule three: Don't cover up your mouth. She can't see through your hand. Obey these three gold rules, and then I'm sure she'll understand. So Freddie learned the three gold rules, and now he speaks quite clearly. And everything he wishes for comes true. Wow! He's got pigs and bunnies and cats and dogs and parrot. So, everything he wishes for comes true. Or very nearly. <laughs> now, Bessie Bell, you are being a naughty fairy. Okay, that's our story. Bye-bye. See you soon.